Hi everyone, my name is Brian Piacitelli. I'm going to be talking on the importance of air traffic separation. So, what role do controllers play in separation? Well, before controllers, pilots relied on a see and avoid system. Since then, controller positions include local controllers, otherwise known as tower. Uh, towers, tower controllers separate aircraft, both landing and departing the airport area. Ground controllers separate aircraft moving on the ground, usually from landing to their parking gate or from their gate to takeoff. And air route traffic controllers separate traffic which are en route, and we'll see why that's so important later on. So why is it so important to maintain separation in these phases of flight? Some of the deadliest crashes in aviation history have been caused when separation was lost between aircraft. Some of these accidents includes, include two mid-air collisions between TWA and United, June 1956, and then four years later in December 1960. A runway collision in LAX between a U.S. Air and a SkyWest flight. And a runway collision, one of the worst accidents in aviation history between KLM and Pan Am. And I want to show you a couple videos, quick videos of these crashes just to see how important uh, separation is. Deep in the Grand Canyon, far from any trail, is the crash site of United Airlines Flight 718 and TWA Flight 2. In 1956, these two airplanes crashed right into each other, resulting in the death of everyone aboard. In fact, a total of 128 people died. It was a beautiful morning in June at Los Angeles International Airport when both flights took off around the same time. Flight 718 was headed for Chicago's Midway Airport, and Flight 2 was bound for Kansas City Downtown Airport. Both flights had a smooth takeoff, and everything was operating well. As the flight went on, both airplanes left controlled airspace. One was trying to avoid thunderclouds, and the other was hoping to give the passengers a better look at the Grand Canyon as they flew overhead. These maneuvers, along with cloud cover and not being able to communicate with air traffic control, resulted in a collision. Both airplanes suffered severe damage and plunged to the canyon floor at 700 feet per second. The high-octane aviation gasoline caused a huge explosion, and no one survived. This collision changed a lot of the ways that air traffic control was operated. They modernized their communication instruments and changed the way they did certain procedures. This crash was a big wake-up call for the ATC. In April of 2014, the crash was declared a National Historical Landmark. It was the first landmark for an event that happened in the air. The exact location of the crash is a secret, and it is closed to the public. Even if the location was revealed, it is in a very remote part of the canyon and can only be accessed by experienced hikers. So you can see how important it is for separation and how this one mid-air collision changed the industry forever. The next one is a, a crash between SkyWest and US Air, which actually occurred because a controller cleared a plane to land on a runway, which a plane was already cleared to line up and wait. Uh, this, this video shows um, what happened. It's just a quick video. What actually happened was uh, the controller cleared SkyWest airplane to line up and wait, and it was nighttime, and the controller was distracted. It was super busy at the airport, and they also cleared the U.S. Air flight to land. Since SkyWest was on the runway at night, they didn't have their lights on, and the airplane didn't see that there was someone else on the runway. Incursions do not always lead to accidents, but they can and have. In 1991, a commuter aircraft was cleared by ATC to position and hold for takeoff on runway 24 left at LAX. 
the controller forgot about the commuter aircraft's position and cleared a 737 for landing on the same runway. The 737 crashed into the commuter aircraft, resulting in the loss of both aircraft and several fatalities. So this is one reason why it's important for um, controllers as well as pilots to be very vigilant on what's going on in the airport environment to maintain that separation. The next crash is one of the worst crashes in aviation history between two 747s. Um, and it occurred due to controller and pilot error. Sunjet 2A2, proceed directly to runway, backtrack, and hold. Los Rodeos Airport on the Spanish island of Tenerife is busier than it's ever been. DA 7A3, hold short of the runway and stand by for taxi clearance. With so many planes parked in the taxiways, the controllers instruct departing flights to taxi along the airport's only runway to get into position for takeoff. One of the planes waiting to get to Las Palmas is Pan Am Flight 1736. The Pan Am crew is ready to get back in the air, but they can't taxi to the runway. A KLM 747 has stopped in front of them to refuel. Generate KLM 4805, you finish refueling. Requesting clearance for startup. He said, uh, follow KLM down a runway, backtrack, make an exit to get around back of KLM. So that's what we were doing. First Officer Bragg is unfamiliar with the airport. He checks a runway diagram to help find their turn. Okay, that's this one right here. Goes ahead. It's going to put us on the taxiway. As they taxi, they listen to the tower controller tell the KLM crew ahead of them what to do after departure. You are clear to the Papa Beacon. Climb two and maintain flight level nine or zero. Right turn after takeoff. Roger, clear to the Papa Beacon. Flight level nine zero right turn up. We are now at takeoff. Okay, uh, stand by for takeoff. I will call you. And we're still taxiing down the runway, Clipper one seven three six. Papa Alpha one seven three six, report runway clear. Okay, we'll report when we're clear. Thank you. The Pan Am crew will be turning off the runway in just a few more yards. But now something's wrong. First Officer Bragg can see a plane through the fog. I think he's moving. Look at him. That idiot's coming. It's all KLM too. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Captain Grubbs tries to steer clear of the oncoming KLM. but it's bearing down on them at nearly 200 miles an hour. He had lifted off the runway. I could see his rotating beacon underneath. Get off, get off, get off. Get off, get off, get off! And then I ducked and set a real quick pair. Trying to help he misses us. So you can see the importance of communication between controllers and pilots here as if you paid attention the controller told KLM to stand by for departure and KLM didn't read that clearance back and this resulted in one of the most deadly crashes in history. So how can we maintain separation and avoid accidents like these in the future? Uh, there's been many improvements to the ATC system since these crashes, but there are still things pilots and controllers can do to increase separation safety. So there have been, um, obviously, improvements in radar to help with the, the mid-air collisions as well as air route traffic controllers to uh, control aircraft so that they don't um, rely on the see and avoid system. But as well as these improvements to technology, Pilots uh, need to always be on the lookout 
while they're in VFR conditions to increase um, safety in case ATC gets overload and misses a traffic alert. Pilots also need to listen closely on the radio, not only to their own instruction, but others to maintain situational awareness. Again, if KLM would have listened um, that Pan Am was still on the runway when they told Tower that they wouldn't have taken off and caused that crash. Also, uh, if, if that Sky West crew would have been listening that someone was cleared to land on their runway, they would have queried ATC and, and that accident could have been avoided as well. Uh, also, controllers must always make sure the minimum separation standards exist. Um, controllers have a set um, separation standard that must exist between aircraft. Uh, if they if they maintain this, then surely no accidents will will happen in the future. But there is always human error. Uh, controllers and pilots must also ensure correct call signs have been used and proper instructions have been read back. Again, the whole KLM, KLM, if they would have read back um, that they were not yet cleared to depart, that accident could have been avoided. So thanks for uh, coming out to my safety demonstration here. I hope you had a good time.